King Charles has always been known for his quirky hobbies, which used to amuse his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, says royal expert Jenny Bond. The king is famous for his love of the great outdoors, with many of his initiatives focused on open spaces. The 75-year-old monarch has a particular liking for mazes. He recently had a new maze garden built at his royal Sandringham estate in Norfolk, inspired by the complex labyrinth he enjoyed as a child. Jenny Bond, former BBC royal correspondent, spoke to OK about Charles' new maze, suggesting that the late queen would have been amused to see her son still indulging in the same hobbies he loved as a child. She also pointed out how the king's mazes will form part of his legacy. I'm sure the late queen would have been quite amused that her little boy was indulging one of his quirky hobbies, finding his way out of a maze. He used to spend hours trying to get round the maze at Sandringham when he was a child. That maze was dismantled years ago, but now it has been rebuilt, and is even better, Jenny told the magazine. The latest maze at Sandringham marks the third royal maze in 300 years. Charles had one built at Dumfries House in Ayrshire in 2016, featuring a Japanese-style pagoda at its centre, and another at Balmoral in Aberdeenshire, designed in the shape of Scotland's national flower, the thistle. Jenny pointed out that Charles will take great enjoyment from watching his grandchildren revel in the mazes during their youth, which will also be open for public enjoyment, allowing royal followers a taste of the experience. She added, the king has also masterminded one at Balmoral, shaped like a thistle as well as at Dumfries House. They will be quite a legacy for the king, and I think he'll get great enjoyment from watching his grandchildren and, indeed the public, trying to find their way out. Of course the king's mazes are extraordinarily elegant and beautiful. Charles, who loves beauty in nature, wouldn't have it any other way. The thistle maze at Balmoral was unveiled in August, while the maze at Dumfries House has been welcoming visitors since 2016. The latest addition at the Sandringham Estate is now also available for the public to explore.